Um, hello everyone, I'm Antonio Cercello, I'm a software engineer collaborating with a company like uh, GeoBeyond and ByteRoad. Today I'm going to talk to you about um, a new case of PyGeo API and uh, I will tell you why I think it's a nice use case to share. Uh, very quickly, OGC API. OGC API is the new generation of uh, OGC uh, standards. It's a uh, web native. It's made in an open API REST uh, fashion. And uh, it's meant to be uh, a modern alternative to the standard, the OGC standard that we use so far, that we all know uh, and, uh, and use in our software. It's meant to be easier to use and uh, web, uh, web uh, developer friendly also. And uh, as I said, it's going to replace the existing standard. And uh, indeed, we have different APIs covering different uh, use cases. Um, it's a work in progress with, uh, with some of them, but there are already approved standards like OGC API features, process, uh, and uh, the, uh, environmental uh, data retrieval. PyGeo API is one of the first software to, that uh, implemented, uh, started to implement this standard is part of the discussion with the OGC uh, about the definition of this standard. And it's a Python implementation. Recently was, uh, it's uh, uh, news of these days, was also added as an OGC project, uh, sorry, uh, OSGO project. And uh, it's a nice way to try the, the OGC API thing. What I like, it uh, also about PyGeo API is the modular architecture that lets you extend, easily extend and cover different use cases that you could have if there are, or even in case they are not yet covered by the code. One of the key aspects of this modular architecture is the provider um, module that lets you connect your API to different storage. In this case, we are going to, to see one of the uh, most complete implementation that is the, the one that connects to an, El an Elasticsearch data store. I, I, I think there is no time to tell you also, but Elasticsearch is a, basically a search engine that could be used, like in this case, like a sort of NoSQL storage for, uh, for your data. So in the end, you will use Elasticsearch to store your G GeoJSON uh, data and let, it, uh, let PyGeo API expose according to this specification. One of the, the nicest thing about this provider is that it's one of the most complete. And it's also the, the fact that uh, lets you query with the SQL uh, uh, standard the, the, the data in, uh, in your storage. Indeed, there is support for uh, uh, the simple SQL filter uh, for now, but it's, there are work in progress to, to extend it even further. Uh, in, in, the GSO, in the JSON format. So in the end, what you could do if you are curious about OGC API or if you already had, uh, have a, a use case that requires you to, to adopt this standard, PyGeo API could be, first of all, a, a one-stop solution because it supports a wide range of standards and it's meant to be extended to support even more. And uh, it's very easy to set up. And, in case, consider also the, uh, the, the Elasticsearch uh, solution. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.